I would say Veil started as, as kind of a pursuit to understand how camouflage works, really more as an obsession than like a, an idea to grow it into a business and you know by no means to get it to where it is today and where it's going but when it started I was in the army one day I remember I was I was looking at what I was wearing and for the life of me I couldn't I, I, I couldn't understand what it was supposed to accomplish I was like where does this work and why are we wearing this and why are it why is it you know this collection of shapes and colors and just why I was in a tree stand, sitting and waiting. I was looking across the field into the trees and something just kind of clicked for the first time. You know, you, you read it in passing, you know, oh, fractals in nature, you know, things like that. Well, for the first time, that kind of all came together for me. And, you know, I, I would look and I could start to see this self-repeating nature of nature, right? These patterns that keep reproducing and they scale and it just goes on forever, right? So, but it's not perfect. You know, whenever you see some sort of a representation of, of, of fractals, when it's talked about in some sort of a scientific way or whatever, it's always a very perfect repeating pattern. And so I wanted to understand why it wasn't perfect. What is it that's, that's, that's forcing it out of that, you know, perfect self-repeating pattern. After some digging, I finally found uh, that it's chaos math, right? And so that sounds big and hairy and meaty and, you know, it's, it's, it's already sounds like I should be wearing a lab coat, right? So fractals and chaos math. How can I figure these things out, wrap my heads and my arms around them? and turn it into something that I can turn into camouflage design. What does that look like? So that's really kind of, in that moment, that's kind of when Veil started. The fractals, self-repeating patterns found throughout nature, right? You see it in the way trees grow, you see it in ferns, you see it all over the place. You just have to look, it's there. Chaos math, the way that it applies to what we're doing is it's that element that knocks it off its perfection, right? It's the thing that makes it look more natural. It never it looks contrived or constructed. It seems to flow. It's the same formula that you see in the way that the, the landscape around you is shaped. It's the same principle. We're taking the visual biases that you see in the natural world, and we're constructing our patterns in the same way, using the same concepts mathematically, the same, you know, everything that, that from, from trees to grass to ferns to rock faces, whatever, that's what's baked into our patterns. My thought process behind pushing this out into the world is, this is gonna make for camo that you don't have to take pictures of trees, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to fake stuff, you don't have to copy stuff. You're growing a pattern the way that nature is shaped. So it's gonna be at home in more places. It's gonna be able to traverse, you know, different spaces and really be an, you know, an ace up your sleeve. The more that I started working with chaos, like the, the more imperfect the pattern was, the, the better it became, the more functional it became, the more versatile, you name it. Like it was, it was a huge leap in the development of Veil and in what we can do for patterns.